that this video would be more structured um, I was trying to draw out a plan on how this I don't want to say story time but um, how this conversation or this vulnerability session was gonna go but um, I literally spent close to 30 minutes only having written the, the title of the video but I just pressed record um, so that I can just you know I guess ramble about it and speak to it without having you know a pre-meditated um, speech or whatever background on the purpose of this video I was just feeling weird today I think I still am I think my brain was just like on a very heavy reflective session reflecting a lot on my relationships and more particularly like my friendships right I, I guess it's growth actually but i've been growing out of friendships i'm gonna try and explain um the reasons as to why i think that is happening there's been a pattern in my life um especially recently but i'm just gonna tell you guys about it well Tunis was born in a lot of my friends and especially people that i was i've been friends um with like through varsity and stuff you know I've been having those friendships really getting tested, you know. The reason is just the phase of our lives that we're all in, right? All of my friends, well, most of my friends actually work. I think all of them actually. Um, but I don't have a job, right? I am an unemployed graduate, unfortunately. There's just been this new development in, like, my relationships I feel like we've grown so much apart. We've become different people. Priorities are different. Um, and I feel like just our schedules are so different. And that is putting a strain on friendship, I'm guessing, with these individuals. I actually feel like I ramble a lot. Okay. This video is becoming very difficult to record. Because I feel like I'm talking about my feelings and i hate it so much something that you overlook when you're in varsity is just like how nice it is and how special it is that you're all in the same vicinity you all get to see each other conveniently right like it, there's no effort that needs to be invested into oh well let me say that that there's little effort that is required um from you to actually to see your friend right and right now that those dynamics have changed right because my friends are working or your friends are just like working now and you probably live very far apart some uh in different cities some like even the neighborhoods that we stay in right now they're very scattered like we're very scattered as as friends right now and it's no longer that easy to actually maintain the the, the relationship like you're required to be a certain type of person to do certain type of things in order to I guess adjust or adapt to the new normal adapt was the word like there's new adaptations that need to be implemented into the friendship in order for it to work and i think those adaptations are what i am currently struggling with i'm the type that prefers linking up with my friends like in person to actually catch up i am a very quality time type of person right i love spending time i feel like that's the best way to catch up with people our friendship exists when we are in the same spaces like when i get to see you and get to spend time with you that's how i feel very connected to the friendship right because we're scattered now having to be able to do those things requires more effort and it is now more difficult than ever and this has put a strain on my friendships and i haven't really quite i adapted or adjusted to how it's supposed to work and today um i actually went to i went out for breakfast in the morning with 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 a very very good friend of mine and i was just like telling her about this reflection that i've been having on some of my friendships right and as well as like romantic relationships but that's um going to be a separate video on its own mm -hmm. with friendships you know like this this has been in a very exhausting thing to deal with 
ya bo and yo hey, i don't even know where to start actually so there's a number of reasons why i think i can't sustain a relationship or a friendship with somebody that works and i don't right one is the difference in lives i feel like once you go out of school and you start working one your life automatically changes because now you have new priorities you can't just like rock up on a wednesday and be like oh yo let's go out it's hard to do that because and nine out of ten times like they're tired and they want to recuperate and be ready for the next day or better yet some people just work throughout like and when as umashalela like it it, it it always looks as if you just have so much time to yourself and you don't know what to do with it and by trying to hang out with them and for me it's weird because me hang, that's how i sustain that's how i can actually water the seed of a friendship like i can't water it if i spoon nine like i'm very bad over the phone like i'll probably hit you up or check up on you every every now and then i'm not a person who's going to text you every day and check up on how you're doing every day i can't do that i just don't have it in me even in my relationships so like even in my relationships that is something that i struggle a lot with and i've i prefer spending time with the person and being able to check up on how you're doing in person it's it's come to a point where i'm unable to do that with my friends right because anytime when i've made the initiative to link up or try and spend time together it's always a case of oh um i'm working or i have deadlines i have da 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 da, -da, -da, -da. they always have things to do like in diakwazi ba au au sebenzi oko like you obviously going to have time to yourself time to do other thing right and i don't even think that i'm a demanding person yeah but i like we, we could catch up on doing the most random things like you could be like oh you're doing groceries and we could hang out on the grocery shopping that you're doing or when i'm doing grocery shopping and i could be like yo let's link up i'm about to run some errands and we could catch up over those errands i feel like for me that is enough right and it's been so difficult to be able to do those things with my friends who work right and this has put a strain on our friendship or relationship in general and any time when i've made plans it's always a thing of oh i can't um maybe i'm i'm working or um i can't because da -da 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 -da, i'm sicky i can't because i don't know they always have something to do it's plans it's meetings it's what what where key um team building you know corporate people lingo those things and for me if i made plans and we are taller best believe i am never making plans with you again and this was a good way again trying to hang out or trying to make means to hang out or catch up with you if you if, if you can't honor a plan and you don't get back to me with an alternative i'm expecting you oh you can tell me a day where you can be able to do that activity if you're working on saturday but you're not working on sunday you could be like yo i can't do saturday but i'd be down to do this on a sunday if if it, if it so happens like that that you can't do the hike the next time you want us to hang out you it, the ball is in your court now you are obligated to come out come up with a plan and you are going to invite me to that but if you decide to not do that i don't think i have it in me to try and make plans with you again because that door was shut i think man things like that have been happening in these relationships and i just don't know how to deal with it and it, it, it's been it's been just like very a very weird season 
Like, it is so crazy to me how one person can be like, oh, I can't, I can't go on a hike. And chiki chiki, dig bone. Like, going on a coffee date with your other friends. To me, that's just like, it's weird. Because I'm just like, this is the epiphany that I get from that. Is that in your life, there's these priorities. And unfortunately for me, I am just not a priority as your friend. And when I see myself not being prioritized, I will humbly distance myself from that. But there's, there's, there's like tears to friendships, right? And I am one person who I like knowing what tier of friends we are. So that one, I know where the boundaries are. And two, I know where I lie with you. I know what to expect from our relationship. And I would say that my type of friendships lie in five levels right and i actually put up a graph to, to, to try and, and, and explain what i'm talking about level five is like at the at the very bottom right we're not really friends like that i just know you like zaktiti sanjay just because it was more at level four you have people that i am acquainted with right and these are people that we can talk. They were like, sing -a, sing -a, not all a man, like, but it's nothing substantial. It's just like very generic stuff. Not that there's, there's anything that we're pushing. Level three, those are people I'm, I know, right? Maybe they, 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 they are fairly close to me. About fairly close to me we hang out um but then again like our relationship is not there's no depth to 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 to, to, to the friendship right like we, we we can talk in chill but it's like about really really light stuff yeah boy and then i have my level two level two those are people in a very close circle of mine right and those are people i talk to about i guess certain aspects of my life and they know me people i'd I, I, i'd actually vouch for people i say that i i have i hold great care for and level one friendship that's like platinum premium right those are people that i consider family right and those are people that i would kill for people i would take a bullet for right and in these of five tiers i always need to know what tier of friend am i to you and you also need to understand that this is the tier of friend that that this is the tier of friendship that you and i have right because i don't want to be crossing lines not knowing where I stand with you, I hate that. I hate not knowing where I stand with a person. What I'm coming to realize is that I would consider somebody a level one friend, but I realize that I'm not a level one friend to them. And I don't know, I don't know at what point in our duration or lifetime or lifespan of our friends did I move from being a level one friend to a level two or level three, right? Like, it's just for me, if that happens, if I'm being demoted as a friend, I, I, I need to know, right? I need to know. And I feel like with people who've been working, I've been seeing myself literally downgrade from like a level one or from level one all the way down, right? And I'm just like, I, I don't know what's going on. And I've been making means and strides on my side to make sure that those relationships are maintained. So now the biggest problem is that I feel like I'm the only person who is basically trying to make sure that the relationships work and the other people are just like, ah, it's whatever, you know, and it, it, it makes me feel some type of way, you know, it makes me feel some type of way and it's even worse because I don't even know how to talk about it. I don't even know where to start, right? 
And there are, I think, a handful of, of, of these relationships or these friendships that I have addressed this issue. I have raised it in the past, right? And nothing has actually come out of it. And so now, like, I'm in this space of hating to be redundant about this issue. Like, Iandi Bora. And because I've addressed it once, I feel like there's no point of me addressing it again. And because of that, I just like pull myself out in the year in jail. Because I just can't personally. If I've raised an issue with you once and we've made amends or made promises to each other that going forward, this is what I want. There was there was actually one that we actually had a sit down and there was a point in our lives where it felt like we were falling out and I couldn't even tell what the issue was. And I think at that time, yeah, I was just going through so much, but I had to communicate that, okay, this is what has been happening in my life and with our friendship. And they gave me their side of the story and we were like, okay, cool. Now that we're here and we've said what we need to say, what does the future look like for me and you as friends? Like, what are we hoping to achieve out of this? And we listed our ABCs, one, two, threes on, on what our expectations in the friendship are and what our goals with the friendship basically are. And right now, it's becoming problematic because all that we said that we were working towards, we're not doing it. And I would like to believe that from my side, Mnashem personally, I have made the means to keep my word. Because one thing about me, I am a man of my word. If I say that I'm going to do one, two, and three, trust and believe that I'm going to do one, two, and three. And if anything changes along the way, I will let you know. So I have been holding my end of the stick and the other person is just like, Ibambe wet opera. So Kengoku, for me, I'm just like in this weird position where I'm just like, I and that's what I'm doing with my with my friendships and I don't know how to approach it. And if for anything, I'm tired of always being the one to talk about these things. If for anything, I am tired of being the one who's always talking about these things and always raising these issues up. Like at some point you get tired. And I feel like I've gotten to that point where I'm just like, dog, like if you're not gonna hold your end of the contract or be faithful to the commitments that you said that you were going to make that nobody forced you that you brought up by yourself i was like so i feel like that's where i'm at with my friendships with people who work and also i'm just like tired of always being this person who i'm always very understanding of situations and i try to reason with why people behave the way that they do but to be honest Hishem, i'm realizing that these people are just behaving the way that they're behaving because they don't want to be friends with me and i feel like there's a force and there's nyala in their lives and i i hate that yeah because one thing about me you are you need to be so serious you need to be so serious because you I just, yeah, actually, no, this, it, it, thinking about it is actually pissing me off. Thinking about it is actually pissing me. I think also, I'm not even able to properly articulate these stories or these concerns because I am still very much intensely feeling about just how things are playing out. And this realization is just happening right now, right in this moment. Abon. But let me just say that it's 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 very fresh. So it's just like a very weird, weird place that I'm in. And yeah, man, like I just I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about it. Cause it's just, it's just making me feel very weird. And I don't like feeling weird. Yeah, like that's that's been my relationship with people who work. And if if you're a friend of mine who so happens to work and you're watching this video and you feel like you are Cinderella and the shoe is fitting, it probably isn't about you. Like, it, it, it definitely, probably isn't about you. But, um, yeah, that's 
just a general observation that I've been having with my relationship and yours. And honestly, it's okay. Um, I, I don't I don't think there's anything that I actually want from you to I feel like in the Vendela Umdu. I feel like the directly la umdu lendo. Well, it feels like it, but yeah, it's it's really not. Or maybe it is a way to undoes it. Take it however you want to. That's that's just like how I've been feeling about my relationships and yeah, man, like abba samba nabo, swamba nabo. I genuinely just don't want to be pouring into cups that don't want to pull back. I think that is it at at the very at the very core. I think that's it. And and if you way, like in the end, it just puts me in a very weird place. And I don't like that. Yeah, but I think I just like wanted to talk about that way too. Um hopefully I I it makes it past production this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that so much. And maybe share this video. Maybe there is a friend of yours or you might be going through something similar. So let me know um, in the comment section down below. Let's start a conversation. And I, I, if you are a regular regular, um, you and I are going to meet each other again on another video. Um, I love you so much. Peace. Yo, yeah, sure,